Good morning. Thanks for having us here at Tech Field Day. We're excited. Uh, we're going to talk today about CyberSense. CyberSense is a product of Index Engines. Again, we are in the security space, helping to customers recover smarter from ransomware attacks. Um, I'll be presenting. Uh, my name is Jim again. We're responsible for strategic partnerships at Index Engines. Um, I'm joined by Jeff Barrell, who I'll let introduce himself. So I'm the, I, my name's Jeff Barrell. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Index Engines. Jim's been kind enough to ask me along because I'm local. Um, so it's a real pleasure to be here today. I'm mostly from the storage industry. I founded three companies, uh, Blue Arc, which was an enterprise NAS company, it's now part of Hitachi, Drobo, which was a consumer storage company, and Connected Data, which was acquired by Amation. So yeah. over to you, Jim. Yeah, I'm a busy guy. <laughs> so, um, so a little bit about Index Engines, about the company. Um, and again, my name is Jim McGann from Index Engines. We'll be presenting this um, today. The company is, is really focused on enterprise software. What the, the architecture of the software is designed to, to index enterprise data at scale very efficiently. Um, what we've done with our CyberSense product is add the ability to add analytics and AI-based machine learning to, to inspect and validate the, the data's integrity. Um, we've been in business for a number of decades. Part of the reason, and, and we sell a lot through partnerships, which I'll talk about, part of the reasons we sell uh, through partnerships very successfully is they look at our technology and realize they don't have decades to build what we built. It's something that's very unique, very purpose-built, uh, very challenging to do. Um, so it's, it's really decades of technology in the product, which I'll be showing you today. Uh, we have offices across the globe, including Pune, India, San Jose, locally, as well as on the East Coast in New Jersey and Colorado, not Central. Um, customers, uh, we have customers globally that use our product, and I'll talk about that. So I want to pass it to Jeff and kind of talk a little bit about the technology. To understand the value of what we provide, it's important to understand the underlying technology. So I'll let Jeff talk about that. Thanks, Jim. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick introduction to the product at a very high level. So um, when the company first got into cybersecurity, uh, the assumption was that people would be interested in protecting the crown jewels. So we were thinking that it would be sort of tens or hundreds of terabytes of data. But actually it turned out that people want to protect all of the data. So we've had to develop a very highly scalable modular solution. And in some of the biggest companies in America now, we have racks of our uh, scanning nodes, scanning tens of petabytes of information daily for ransomware attacks. So it's, it's a big scale problem and we've had to make a scalable solution to deal with it. Um, then secondly, the kinds of data that we get fed could be almost anything. So uh, commonly um, in our partnerships, it's backup, and it could be any kind of format, and those backups could contain any kind of data. But additionally, it's uh, snapshot data. And again, it could be block, it could be file. So we have to be able to ingest an enormous number of data formats. And a lot of the work that the company's done over the decades that Jim talked about has been the ability to understand all of those different formats at a binary level. So talking about that in a little bit more detail, the way the product works is it can open um, uh, those backup formats or those snapshots at a binary level, and then it has a, a recursive parser built into it, um, which can call new modules that understand different formats. So just to sort of explain what that might look like, um, you might have a Commvault backup, and so a parser will start on that. And then as it goes through that, it, maybe it finds a disk image. So it has to be able to open up the disk image. And then inside the disk image itself, you know, there may be an NTFS file system. So then the NTFS parser gets called. Then it finds a folder. Inside the folder, there's a Word document. So the Word parser will get called. And then inside the Word document, there's an embedded Excel document. And then the Excel parser will get called. And so in order to understand all of these different formats, you just need all of these different parsers. And what the technology is doing is it's actually looking through all of this information bit by bit, looking for evidence of ransomware. And this is, I guess Jim will talk about this, but it's highly differentiated in that most other technologies are looking for attacks in progress, whereas what we're able to do is actually pass all the way through all the data and ensure that it's good. And I know Jim will be covering that. 
And then finally, what happens is once we've done this analysis, the product contains uh, hundreds of machine learning models, which are all trained in different ways. We have a, a lab um, and we have a team. And what our team does is it, it gets ransomware. There's a number of well-known sources for it, but also goes to the dark web, gets the latest variants, and we actually detonate them in a secure facility. And then we train the machine learning models to recognize the different forms of attacks. And whether it's, it, it's a, a typical ransomware attack, whether it's partial encryption, whatever it is the ransomware is doing, the machine learning models get trained against it. And then they're capable of determining out of your data set, which things are un, which things are infected with ransomware and which things are clean. So, in, in a nutshell, a high level, that's the way the product operates. So, I'll hand back to Jim. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a, just to understand the foundation of the technology. So, we have our product is installed at some of the biggest airlines, biggest banks across the globe that are that are managing multiple petabytes of data. It's not possible unless you have a very highly efficient platform, so a highly efficient index. I mean, the footprint of the index is anywhere from one to 5%. So it's very scalable, very performant. And again, customers are analyzing petabytes of data um, on a regular basis. So, it, and the, the product itself is very extensible. So, you know, there's a lot of capabilities that are being added with our 8.6 release, which came out yesterday, we added a new threshold capability. So just think about the index is a very rich, compressed, um, profile of the data, all the metadata, all the content, everything about it, so that you can really do this analytics on top of it. So today we have over 1,400 customers globally. Um, they're anywhere from small local government school systems, all the way up to large airlines, banks, government agencies, federal agencies, and so on. So it's across the gamut. You know, the, the, the thing about cyber and ransomware is they, they really don't discriminate against who they attack. I mean, health, healthcare is a very big vertical just because they have a not the strongest IT environment. Um, so we see a lot of healthcare, we see a lot in the finance space and a lot in, in education as well.